So welcome back guys to another video and if you guys were like me and grew up in the 90s and I think you can agree that gaming back then was just so much simpler. Before the days of Digital Foundry where we dissect frame rate and resolution and compare console to console, we pretty much just wanted a game that captured the essence of visiting our local arcade. Arcades were the mecca of pure gaming experiences, so whenever we heard that an arcade game was being ported to the console, we were very happy, and some games did really well, some of them were complete garbage, but some of them are going to be what this topic is today, and some of those games were actually better, in my opinion than its arcade counterparts. The first game being a Nintendo staple is Punch-Out. Many held this as one of the best boxing games on any platform, rather it's nostalgia or the fact the game featured a stellar learning curve to study each opponent and become the champion. The arcade version, in my opinion, is far less superior than the NES port. To be honest, it's the style that really catches my eye. Actually seeing Little Mac instead of a green wireframe was just more pleasing to the eye made me feel more connected to Little Mac. Not to mention, if you played the recent re-release of Punch-Out! Arcade Archives on the Switch, you'll notice the NES controls on the port seem far more user-friendly and overall a better port. Just like the soon-to-be champ, I was rooting for the underdog. Contra is a run-and-gun game that many watchers need no introduction to. You guys know this game like the back of your hand or should I say the Konami code. But many have more fond memories of the NES port than the arcade. I have to say the arcade port just looks awkward. The color palette is oddly placed, making it look a, like a melted crayon left in the car in the middle of July. It's muddy. Where the NES version, while making the sprite smaller, the game just looks better. And the NES gamepad feels more solid to me compared to the arcade stick. And it really shows that sometimes less is more. Strider is one of my favorite Capcom classics. I actually really love the arcade port. It's just some fast paced flipping awesome action that will always earn my quarters. But a personal opinion, I actually really like the NES version. See Capcom did something different with this port. Didn't try to emulate your time at the arcade but tailored to the single player console experience. It's a much more solid story as well. I love that Strider's base of operations, the Blue Dragon, which transforms you to various areas around the world and collecting clues and discs to unlock other stages, it kind of had more playability and content as opposed to the, just the five stages in the original arcade port. Turtles in Time is one of those games I'd say actually doesn't have a definitive version. The arcade version has four player co-op and superior presentation, but for the sake of this topic, the SNES port has better mechanics and far more content. Adding new bosses like the Mecha Turtle, they also changed the Cement Monster to Slash, which was a huge improvement, and moved Tonka and Razar from the Pirate Ship level to the new Technodrome level, and replaced them with pirate versions of Bebop and Rocksteady, which I really liked. They also added the underrated bad guy, the Rat King, to the Sewer Surfing level. Both versions are great. But maybe it's nostalgia taking the wheel on this one because I really prefer the SNES version. Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams is what many will refer to as a cute em up, but I like to use the term cuter shooter. Where you control a witch and just blast a bunch of bad guys, nothing deep in story, nothing crazy exciting, but the art is fantastic and I absolutely love the soundtrack. The arcade port is great and it's one of my favorites from Sega and I thought until I played the port on the Sharp X68000. The music isn't as good, but the frame rate is so much better, which is crucial for a game like this that requires fast reflexes. Somehow, the graphics actually look sharper. <clears throat> but no, really, this version is a must-play if you want the best experience. Bionic Commando, an interesting platformer from Capcom that used an interesting take on the genre that required using your arm to swing through pitfalls as opposed to the normal jumping mechanics we all knew at the time. Many will commend the arcade port for the fact that it's not censored and nothing feels better than killing Nazis. But really, the NES port is a much better title. I feel like the controls are a lot more solid, the hit detection is better, the graphics I like a little bit more, and to be honest, the story has actual cutscenes that made the story much more of an experience that may be a norm today, but was really something special back then. 
So anyway guys, those are some games that I felt were better than the original arcade port and this is where I want you to come in, leave a comment below and tell me some games that you felt were better than the arcade. I'd love to hear from you and we can comment, discuss and debate. It'll be a really fun time. And if you enjoyed this video and want to keep supporting the channel, be sure to hit the bell. It's going to be beside the description button and this is the only way to be notified whenever there's new content coming out on this channel. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming.